Hello, Capricorn. All right. Thank you for being here. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So, Capricorn, the cards that I have for you are gift. Okay. A thief. Mm -hmm. And occupation. Okay. So, somebody, this is what I was getting. If somebody is occupied with getting back into your good graces, back into a relationship with you so they can get more money from you, more opportunity, you know, live the high life, prestige. I don't know. Whatever you offer them, they want more of it. Okay? So that's either what somebody's doing to you, uh, Capricorn, or trying to, or this is what you're trying to do in regards to someone else. It, look, it looks like somebody's coming, like premeditation, like they come up with a plan of how I'll get Capricorn to trust me again uh, so I can get more... The upper hand, uh, more, um, I'm losing control. I can get them to reciprocate. Give me more money. Give me more time. Give me more energy. Uh, give me whatever they got. I just Give me, give me, give me, give me. You know, um, that happens in so many different ways. It's not always about money. This person could even be coming back to you maybe around the holiday season, your birthday season, whatever comes first. Um, and they may even give you something. You know, you know, and then it'll soften your heart or vice versa. This is what you're doing. And uh, it's, it's premeditation. It's like somebody's coming up with a plan. Like, I got to get back in there. So I'm going to do what I need to do to get back in too. Yeah, the Six of Cups is definitely someone from your past or someone you have a significant past with, past life. I don't know. Um, It's someone who's, you know, thinking about the good times. They may even want you to <clears throat> go back into oblivion because Six of Cups, because sometimes talk about being blissfully unaware. Like you just, you know, you just, just unaware of the devices, of the plan, of the schemes, of the enemy. Mm-hmm. This is the enemy. Um, they may be wanting to come back, connect backwards, says the Six of Cups. So they want to go backwards, you know. Um, they want to get back to a simpler time and maybe they come in with that little token, you know, that little gesture. Um, to get back, this could be anybody. This could be a family member. It could be a loved one. It could be someone. But they come in with ulterior motive. They're coming to take, you know, with the theft card or the thief card here. Let's see. Yeah, Ten of Cups. It could be family. They want to reconcile, wave the white flag, um, you know, call a truce. So maybe you guys were at odds or at war, if you will. Let's, let's call a truce. Let's be, you know, um friends again or friendly amicable whatever it says somebody might even come to you with like a business opportunity idea it says yeah you can go with it but make sure you look over the details contractual somebody can't deal with the fact that you are not concerned about them anymore not a source they're not they can't deal with the fact that it could really be over this time could be dealing with a virgo uh pisces Scorpio, anybody here, somebody's got deep emotions that they're trying to dig deep in regards to trying to come back to you. The Ten of Cups with the Nine of Swords. So, like, this is like someone's trying to mutate the energy. If the energy was that we ain't talking, we ain't on good terms, and don't bring your behind back over here, they're trying to mutate that energy into we're on good terms, we're talking, everything is going well. So, just keep that in mind. But they've got their only, their own, you know, motive here. Question their motive. Uh, the fool card. Yes, like somebody knows that they're fun, fit, fabulous. And they may even use what they have to get what they want, right? With the fool card. Uh, this person could be younger than you or feel like you're the one or you felt like they were the one at a particular time, but you just don't know where this relationship is going. So it's the fool card. It's a risk to engage. And I don't know where this is going. No relationship is guaranteed. I think we all just need to rest in that energy no relationship is guaranteed so all of this scared i'm scared to commit i'm scared to do i'm scared the only thing guaranteed is you know taxes and death you know and uh the relationships are not on that list so i don't know the nine of wands so this is, you definitely are estranged from this person there's no communication right now or like we're not together you know uh, you're over there and i'm over here with the nine of swords and the nine of wands. Somebody can't deal with the fact that this could literally be the end. You know, the end of the relationship. The nine of wands here says that uh, someone may, they're thinking about, okay, should I go recover? 
the relationship or should I let this person back in? This is somebody who has been hurt from the past, hurt from previous relationships. So they're apprehensive about engaging. Again, relationships are a risk. You know, take a calculated one, you know. Um, let's get a, a card of advice for a Capricorn. Somebody is just like, I'm just going to be not committed. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Put yourself out there. Use your charm, your charisma. This is what someone is doing. They may even be using their sex appeal. You could be dealing with um, Sagittarius here. Um, Aries. Virgo. I don't know why I said Virgo. Okay, but I meant to say uh, Gemini. Okay. Um, Gemini woman. Virgo woman. Okay. Um, put yourself out there. Engage. Um... This might even talk about self-employment or do something for self, self for self. You know, maybe even too self-sacrificing. You need to do something for self. Um, yeah, this could even be like a transition in your work, workspace. You did have occupation. Some of you want to start your own business, you know. Put more energy into that versus allowing someone to come back and uh, do this to you. Or you got to kind of figure out why they're showing back up. This also could be, you know, in regards to work, your career. You're showing up for something that you know you want to end, that you shouldn't be doing, that you should be doing this other thing over there. The cards say do it. Put yourself out there. Go after your life purpose, Queen of Wands. That's what I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates down in the comment section. Are you about to change jobs or shift or do something for yourself? Let me know. Um... Who's trying to come back? Do you know who it is? You got your eye on them. You, are you giving them the side eye? You should. Anyhow, Capricorn, if you want to get your own personal reading, go over to the website. Book your reading, tarot card reading there. Readings are 40% off. Use 40 off at checkout. Uh, I'm live every Tuesday and Thursday. Thursday nights, I uh, answer your questions for free. So if you want to make that happen, come on over. I'm live every uh, at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, all right? Uh, this is the season for giving back. So um, I am. we're having our annual uh, Less Fortunate Drive, okay? So you can give back to the Less Fortunate by making a donation uh, via Amazon, the Amazon wish list. It is in the description box or go to GoFundMe. If you've never given anything to the channel, this is the time. This is the day, okay? Um contribute something anything if you have it um because it's going to go to someone else we not just me we are going to give this to someone else and, and, and uh, we're going to do our part okay so if you feel like that's good energy let the energy exchange happen be a part of it all right the links are below go find me or the amazon wish list is how you contribute to the less fortunate uh i am doing my first ever meet and greet OK, if you want to be a part of that and all you have to do is go and subscribe, sign up on my website to row uh, As soon as you get there, there will be a pop up. Put your email address in there and you will get the details of how to meet me. If you're here in the metro Atlanta area, the state of Georgia, you can meet me. OK, and I might show up in your state. So go ahead and subscribe uh, so you can always be an insider. You always get the details, right? This is what I have for you, Capricorn. Many blessings to you. Take care.